Hey everyone, it's James at Uribo with our June 2021 Manhattan market update. And for the first time in a while, we saw contract activity slow month over month. Um, that's on a relative basis. On an absolute basis, we're still at very strong levels. We normally see activity cool off in the summer as people go on vacation, leave the city, take their listings off of the market. Um, so compared to previous summers, previous Junes, still very active, but we're just coming off of the peak that we saw in April and May. So if we look at the number of contracts signed in June compared to the 2017 to 2019 average, we're up about 51%. And also we're starting to see a reversal in the, uh, the portions of the market by price point that are driving that increase. So if you remember the last couple of months, it was more the higher end that was uh, outperforming. Now it's the lower end. And that's partially driven by the amount of inventory available at each of those price points, which we'll get into. Um, but you'll see here, we used to have a much tighter range in the uh, level of year over year performance for the various price points. Um, used to be like 30 to 40% or 40 to 50%. But here we have a range from 26% to 74%. Um, so that under $600,000 price point is really driving the market, uh, at least on a, uh, a relative basis. Um, so we'll see how that continues uh, going forward, but right now we're seeing no slowdown whatsoever, even on a relative basis at the lower end. Um, no surprise with the number of monthly contracts going down, the number of weekly contracts has also gone down, but still very high on an absolute basis, nothing to worry about there. On inventory, we're plotting around that 7,000, we've been bouncing around that level for four or five months now. Uh, no real signs of that changing. The big test will be after Labor Day. That's normally when we see a lot of inventory come on the market as sellers get back from their vacations and put their, uh, their apartments on the market. Um, also, buyers are back, which is part of the reason why the sellers put their listings on the market. Um, so we'll probably just plot along the 7,000 uh, for the next two months, and then we'll see where that heads um, in September. So you can see that here, just kind of plotting along. Normally, we see that dip, and then it pops up after Labor Day. Um, and going back to the activity by price point, you can see there is record levels of inventory at the lower end, um, and there is lower, there are lower levels of inventory at the higher end. So obviously with more inventory to sell, you're going to sell more of it. So the inventory is driving the, the level of contract activity at least to some degree. Um, and then with pricing, same thing we've been saying, it's starting to grind higher, uh, particularly in areas that are more inventory constrained. So what I did is I put together a chart that basically just um, uh, graphically shows the, um, the overall uh, conclusion that we've been drawing for the last couple of months, which is in areas with less inventory, you have more pricing and downtown has been the, uh, the strongest part of the market. You're seeing here the level of increases are lower here. And meanwhile, uh, Midtown, Upper West Side, Upper East Side, we're seeing um, larger increases. So there are more choices, buyers have less urgency, prices move up more slowly. Uh, still certainly better than what we have been seeing six months ago, but it's not the seller's market that we're seeing downtown, particularly in the, called the Chelsea to Tribeca uh, stretch. So if you are interested in diving into any particular details, as always, we recommend uh, and encourage you to reach out to info at Uribo.com and we'll tell you exactly what we're seeing in that part of the market. Um, and also remember to subscribe and you'll get this as soon as we publish this and we'll see you next month. Thanks a lot. Bye.